hello and welcome to Right Now for Friday the 27th of October 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. Employment Minister Michaela Cash managed to hang on to her job yesterday, despite many commentators, including myself, predicting she would not make it through the day. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull is standing by her and her story that she only misled the Parliament because her staffer did not inform her that they were the person who tipped off the media about their AWU raids on Tuesday, who has since resigned. As previously stated, she has either been sloppy or is still being dishonest, and it's only a matter of time before she is forced to resign, as was the case with Susan Lay earlier this year. The Citizenship Seven, as they have come to be called, will learn their fate in the High Court today at 2.15 Australian Eastern Daylight Time. This is Scott Ludlam, Larissa Waters, Matt Canavan, Barnaby Joyce, Fiona Nash, Malcolm Roberts and Nick Xenophon. The High Court has previously interpreted Section 44 of the uh, Constitution regarding dual citizenship very strictly, so it is possible that all seven MPs could be declared ineligible. However, the High Court has not dealt with citizenship by descent, which means that even the best constitutional law experts cannot predict what today's ruling will be. It could have significant political implications if Barnaby Joyce is declared ineligible, given it would cause a by-election in the seat of New England, with former member Tony Windsor itching to have another tilt at the seat. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has been referred to the state's independent broad-based anti-corruption commission over a 2013 car crash when his wife was driving when a cyclist collided with the side of their car while their three children were present. Why this has become an issue now is because the police failed to uh, breath test Catherine Andrews following the accident, which is standard procedure following such an incident. She denies she had been drinking. Added to this is the fact Victoria Police won't release the documents related to the accident for privacy reasons. There is a lot to criticise Daniel Andrews over, uh, but in the big scheme of things there doesn't seem to be anything really scandalous about this, and let's just focus on the real policy challenges facing Victoria. U.S. President Donald Trump has recently been criticised by Republican U.S. Senators Bob Corker and Jeff Flake over his presidential style and adversarial approach. Of course, the mainstream media love it when Trump's own side criticise him, and these two senators still don't seem to get the fact that it's Trump's unique style that was the reason the American people elected him, and all they are doing now is distracting from the president's agenda. Given the failed Obamacare repeal votes, Trump's own own side appear to be just a bigger problem as the Democrats. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check back on Monday next week to see what is happening right now. Then.